Run-ups for the fittest. How long can we blow and not get caught? Nah, being stopped. It's our movement. I think I remain positive during times like this because regardless of how bad the situation you're in, there's always someone that's worse off than you. I'd say my friends I look up to are all from different upbringings, we all come from different situations at home, whether that be both parents, no parents. Regardless of that, my mum is definitely my role model. I think Loom's special because regardless of the situations that occur in the borough, I think that both bad and good, everyone always comes together and respects and supports each other no matter what. A lot of the time it's very easy for Newham to be perceived as a negative, violent place, but when you're inside it, you see through that and you see above that. I'm just passing by on the two, through the seventh and the sixth on a general basis. Seven miles we've travelled and we're still hungry for success. Will we still get a free school meal? Newham is special to me because it's all I know, basically. It's my home. I have so many, like, childhood and some adult memories here. I recently found out that it's one of the poorest boroughs in the UK. I feel like maybe that would be its bad reputation. Growing up in Ghana, um, we, I only knew one culture, and that was the Ghanaian culture. And then coming back to live in the UK, I found so many different cultures and very diverse, especially in Newham. Swift lefts gliding into cultures. It smells different, looks different, but always feels the same. There's kind of a pressure on you because everyone's from the hood. The goal is to be the person that brings your family out of the hood. The ideal thing was to do is to get out of the hood, but I wouldn't be the person I am today without the lessons I've learned in London. You know, and I don't wanna I don't want my children to not have that, but at the same time I do wanna not put them in harm's way. What motivates me to keep moving forward? So my brother, even today on the 17th of November, um, my brother passed away in 2016. And what really helps me move forward is the is the vision that he had for the vision that he had for this generation is to see a generation that's full of positivity and that's what motivates me to keep going just to ensure that everybody that is going through something let them know that there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. I spent my entire life, apart from a few years that I spent in Pakistan, but my children have always been here. Their schooling has been here, college, pretty much everything like day-to-day -day life, being in and out, it's always been in Newham. So that's what makes it home, really. That's the reason why I, I joined the Metropolitan Police was so that I could make a difference. Even the slightest difference that I make is a huge, it makes a huge impact and is a huge difference in a, another person's life. I started um, youth work because I wanted to help young people. Um, I could see there were a lot of young people in trouble all the time. Um, especially in schools and stuff like that. And my working with young people is the fact that I want to save and help young people to, to be the, our next generation, to move on and be who they can be. We are batch like minded people having one thing in common. The safety of all beings in the community. That's home. 13 rotations on the A catapulting to make the breakthrough. What up next? It's our movement. <laughs>